All right, we're going to get an explanation. This is a fact check. Olympics boxing gender testing controversy is going to, they're going to explain this to us. Now, this is an article from uh, For New York. I guess that's a channel out of New York uh, watching the Olympics, affiliated of uh, NBC. Um, but here it is. So I'll put the link to this article in the description at the bottom uh, here shortly. But uh, we're going to go through a little bit of this. And here we got fat check and Olympic boxing gender testing controversy. Now, if I get some of these foreigners' names wrong, I apologize right out the bat, right off the bat. Uh, Emane Kefli and Lee Young Ting are female boxers. All right. They're female boxers. But they are facing attacks from anti LBDQ alphabet soup. Conservatives online who claim their gender. <laughs> That's the headline. And I've been sitting here for a minute because I, I read over uh, some of this uh, to see if I wanted to to use this and it says it was published three minutes ago but I, i've been probably sitting here about 10 minutes uh, and i haven't watched the video yet but i did pause it because there's a video here in the front uh but i went on kind of reading the article just to see if you know what what information is this is this given us and we all know uh msnbc pms nbc nbc all of these are affiliated they're all left-wing uh propaganda machines so here we go and then saying do you you want to know <laughs> man this is two female boxers who were disqualified from the 2023 world championship after being judged to have failed gender eligibility tests were cleared to fight at the olympic games in paris and it sparked an online outrage from those evil conservatives. An anti LGBTQRS alphabet soup commentators. International Boxing Association Russian President Yumar Kamelev claim that DNA tests. Results showed the two athletes have XY chromosomes, but the results were never published. <laughs> you know, it's not funny, but it's funny. It's almost like this is an SNL um, skit. Like we have to, <laughs> they gotta go and run a DNA test on these people, I guess so. Apparently you do. And apparently that's still not enough. So IOC said it stands by the athletics, athletes and their eligibility to compete. Um, political outrage surrounding the two women competing in boxing at the Paris Olympics stems from a lot of misinformation and International Olympics Committee. The misinformation... Now, I don't really need to go through all of this, but I'm going to try to hit the highlights. So basically, it, it began when these two wanted to compete, uh, I guess, in the 2023, and they, were, they weren't eligible, right? Because they had probably too much testosterone in their system. Now, this is saying uh, unspecified gender eligibility test from 2023, right? Despite them having already competed. So they had already been competing, apparently. See, both boxers have long been competing as women. And neither athlete identifies as a transgender. This is important. Neither one of them identifies as a transgender. But they want to fight against women. And they're grown-ass men. Here are some questions viewers have after conservatives like former U.S. President Donald Trump. An Italian premier, Gorko Malabon, I guess that's how you say his name, 
and other right-wing commentators sparked on outline outcry that men shouldn't be allowed to compete with women. Wow. Go figure. I mean, this is ridiculous that we're even reading. That somebody wrote this. Oh, my God. This is insane. Does Iman Khalif have XY chromosomes? Hmm. Inquiring minds want to know. The IBA Russian president, Imar, Umar, whatever, claimed that a DNA test result showed the two athletes have XY chromosomes, citing it as a reason they were disqualified in the world championships. The IBA also cited high levels of testosterone and Kefa's system. Oh, shit. Well, damn. I wonder why he had too much testosterone. Now, I can see if a woman did, because she's either taking... Uh, now nah, she'd say she's a biological woman and she's taking some kind of enhancements or testosterone to make her stronger. Okay, that she should be disqualified, right? She should be disqualified. However, the results, the test results, please, were never published as Khalif, I, I, I do apologize, I don't know how to pronounce this person's name, has never disclosed his biological markers, calling the decision a big conspiracy. This qualification came after Kiefer defeated Russian boxer Azalea Amelova, whatever, in the 2023 tournament. The IB said it stripped Lynn of a bronze medal because it claimed she failed to meet unspecific eligibility requirements in a biochemical test. Now, see, this article is referring to him as a she. And it's a damn guy. Like, we're stupid. We're stupid. We're just stupid. The AOC has long criticized the IBA and its governance of the support and eventually banned the Russian-run organization in 2019 in a statement Friday. The, o the IOC said it stands by the athletes and their eligibility to complete, noting that the Boxing Association's own documents say the decision was made unilaterally by the IBA Secretary General. Damn, isn't that special? Wow. So he says, ah, it's okay. We don't care. <laughs> These documents also say the IBM went on to resolve at a meeting that it should establish a clear procedure on gender testing after it had already disqualified two of the fighters. Well, yeah, we need some clarification here. I'm okay. Did they say, okay, well, the tests were like inconclusive, but can you come over here and drop your drawers? I mean, what the, what the hell? What the hell? What is DSD? Okay, this, this is crazy. I never even heard of this. And it's been an educational week for me with the Mr. Beast crap and that trans Tyler guy worked with Mr. Beast. I mean, I'm just like, okay, where have I been on the planet? I mean, yeah, where have I been? All right. What is DSD? And I guess you'd say Swaver Syndrome. Swayer Syndrome? Let me know if I'm pronouncing that wrong. DSD stands for Differences in Sexual Development. Okay. I guess we need some clarification on sexual development now. Because, damn. <laughs> Going through puberty ain't painful enough for... You know. Oh, my God. It can involve... Genes, hormones, reproductive organs, but it has nothing to do with gender identity. Okay. It's false to conflate transgender people with people who were born with DSD, said GLAD, the world's largest lesbian, gay, bisexual, gender, and queer media advocacy organization. Say that seven times fast. Good Lord. So they, I guess they have, um, GLAD has scientific experts now. Instead of co community agitators, 
community agitators who who spew propaganda. Now, now they're going to tell us. They're schooling us right here, right here, folks. We're getting schooled. I mean, I'm getting educated. And I, you know, we always need to be educated. Some people with DSDs are also raised as females. Good Lord. But may have sex chromosomes other than XX or elevated testosterone levels according to the NIH. <laughs> oh my God. People with Schwayer syndrome. What the hell? I say dumbass syndrome. I don't know. Okay, according to the National Library of Medicine, have one chromosome and one Y chromosome in each cell, typically found in boys and men. But they have female reproductive structures. Again, it's not known whether either of the boxers has these genetic variations. We don't know. That guy that just kicked her ass last night, she had to stop within 40 seconds of the fight. I mean, he, boom! He's like, jab, jab. I mean, he never really did the, the, the Muhammad Ali one, two, boom! But if he did, I mean, it would have been, oh my God. I mean, it was like, jab, 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 jab. And then she's like, I can't take it. Right? But, but it is not known. <laughs> if this... If the if the boxers has these genetic variations, people, we don't know. We don't know if he has these variations. He was born this way. How did Khalif and Lynn qualify for the Olympics? Good question. All right? This is a good question. Now, keep in mind, this is uh, New York, NBC. Okay. The NBA still holds world championships, but it did not run qualifying events for the 2024 Paris Games. Okay. Qualifications for Paris 2024 took place across three phases. Continental Qualifications Tournament, World Qualification Tournament 1, and World Qualification Tournament 2, and according to NBC Olympics. Well, that didn't tell me shit. Okay, how does the Olympics test for gender qualification? Good question, but still, this is so, what the hell? How did they qualify? <laughs> it didn't tell us nothing. It didn't tell us nothing. How does the Olympics test for gender qualification? This is a damn good question. This is a damn good question, I must say. Now hopefully I'm getting all this in here. Now I'm reading from over here. I've got a big TV here and I got the the cameras on the computer over here. So, you know, just bear with me because I got generic stuff. But hey, it's what I got. So I'm I'm thankful. How does the Olympics test for gender for qualifications? Well, good Lord, we, we need to know. Tell us. Due to the banishment of the IBA, the IOC used rules from 2016 in determining boxers' gender eligibility. Let's see. Let's make sure it's staying in there. Let's check this. Make sure I got everything good. It leaves regulations up to each sport's international governing body because they know their sport. And they know their discipline the best. So, boxers, these people, they know their sport. Boxing is brutal. So, right there, okay, they know their sport. And they're disciplined the best. IOC spokesman Mark Adams told reporters, I hope we all agree that we are not calling for people to go back to the days of sex testing, which was a terrible, terrible thing to do. This involves real people. And we're talking about real people's lives here. This is, it's almost like it's a joke, people, but it's not. This is not a joke. This this is somebody wrote this shit. Interviewed these people and put this down here. <laughs> it's completely absurd. 
So, what if you have a guy that back in the day, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, good Lord, and he's trying to uh, sneak into the women's run? I mean, shit. I, maybe that happened, and that's why they had to test people or check them. Apparently, there's a reason why back in the days, just like he said, I hope we all agree that we're not calling for people to go back to the days of sex testing, which we must have had to do it because men were trying to weasel their way in. Why would they not? Or a woman trying to compete against men, which I have no fathom, no idea why they'd want to do that. The history of sex testing at Olympics is decades long and practices such as an invasive physical examination. Well, damn. Drop your drawers. I'm sure they have to get physicals anyway, right? So during their physical, blood testing, hair follicles, who the hell knows what they're doing? Make sure they're not, you know, taking steroids or whatever. That's just all part of the package. And obviously when they test your blood, they know what the hell you are. You can't hide that. So... This is, again, stupid. The history of sex testing at the Olympics is decades long and practices such an invasive physical examination have been exposed as abusive. Oh, my God. It's abusive. Damn. The IOC has recent years updated its policies to be more inclusive and doesn't require athletes to undergo medical unnecessary procedures or treatment, NBC News reported. <laughs> unnecessary. It is just unnecessary to do that. Guy walks in, 6'5", 300 pounds. You can call me Brenda. I'm entering the shock put. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. Okay. Several Olympic sports governing bodies have also updated their gender roles over the past three years, including world adequates and world athletes. And the International Cycling Unit Union, the governing body for track and field, also last year tightened rules on athletes with differences in sex development. What the heck is world adequates? What am I even saying that right? What what is that? Can women athletes Rules on athletes with differences in sex development. <laughs> Obviously, men and women develop differently, right? I'm a complete moron. That's what I am. Can women have high levels of testosterone? Simply put, yes. In the same way that many men can have low levels of testosterone. However... Women with higher levels of testosterone have faced more criticism and questions about their gender. <laughs> now look, I'm not a medical doctor. But it's probably not that high a percentage of the population that has that. And again, this is where the testing comes in for athletes. If she does, then maybe she needs to go to the doctor. Right? If what's going on? Is something wrong with the thyroid? What what the hell's going on, right? But this is ridiculous. Many of the rules set by governing bodies for participating in women's competitions, including testing of the athletes' testosterone levels. But it's not a perfect test, Adam said as he addressed the boxing controversy. While scientists and the IOC Agree that testosterone is an important factor shaping performance in elite athletes in certain sports, events, and disciplines. It doesn't necessarily predict the performance of an individual athlete. It does if he's a man fighting a woman. It does. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> 
Many women can have testosterone, which will be called male levels and still be women and still compete as women. This data that you do one test for testosterone and that sorts everything out. Not the case, I'm afraid, Adam said. Again, they're calling him she. They're using they're using pronouns. This is all double speak. This is double speak. Now, I think if it was a legitimate woman, they did a blood test. Yeah, she's a woman, but she's got some high levels of testosterone. There's a problem here. And she's going to go to the doctor. She's going to go to her coach. You're going to see what's, what's going on, right? But there you have it. There you have it. I guess that's the end of the article. What? Let's see. AOC spokesman told reporters that there has been a lot of misinformation around on social media, particularly which is damaging. Oh my God. So the inf misinformation that I've gathered is what? He's not a man that he identifies as a theft. He has SWAT syndrome. Well, what is that? They said, uh, what is this called? Um, <coughs> Excuse me. Wave swaver swaver syndrome. Is that what those guys have? That that's what those guys have. Well, let's check this video out. Now I think well, you have to read it, and it's probably going to have uh, commercials. No, can y'all see that good? Yeah, it's a little hard. It's a little fuzzy to read. But um, I'm going to uh, share the link in the description. This was just stupid. It was just ridiculous. I mean, it literally was unbelievable. Look at this. He won a silver in 2022. What a piece of shit. So, you beat up a girl. Yeah, I win. I win. There's the crowd rooting me on. I just beat the shit out of all of them. Damn, that's just messed up. Well, anyway, I'll get the link in the description. Um, I just was amused by that. Thought I'd share it with you guys. Um, it's just crazy. It's just a crazy, crazy mixed up world. We all need to pray about it. Um, maybe pray about those men fighting women. Let the Lord touch upon their heart. that This is wrong. This is wrong. I don't know. Does the Lord want us beating each other up in a ring? It's a sport. I get it. But wrestling with the flesh, with our desires, we need to um, need to pray for them. As much as we want, like to have somebody, some guy go and go, come in the ring with me, buddy. Why don't you pick on, why don't you fight a, a real man? And not a woman. And let's see how well you do. As much as I would love to see somebody just pummel, pummel him. With gloves on. With boxing gloves on. You know, Mike Tyson. He's like in his 50s, right? Whatever how old he is. Go fight that guy. Come fight me. I'm an old man. Let's see what you got. You know? Uh, maybe Tyson could go, Hey! I got gender dysphoria. Will you fight me? You know, whatever, but uh, thank you for tuning in if you made it this far, and uh, guys, have a great day. Thank you.